Hey guys, today I've got a tutorial for the CAPM or the Capital Asset Pricing Model for you. So what I've got is an interactive Excel template which you can download and if you'd like to skip the tutorial you can just head on down to the description and download that now. It's quite easy to use, I've included these instructions so it should be uh, nice and easy to follow. But if you'd like to hang around, I'll run you through the uh, formula and how you can source the data. So quite simply, the uh, CAPM is a measure of risk and return. It is widely used in finance and it's just a uh, good measure of expected return from a stock. And it can be used to uh, help you value companies or uh, value the prospects for projects as it is a good way to uh, derive the discount rate for a company or a project. All right, so to get us started, I'll just bring the uh, formula up on the screen now. So you can see it's quite simply just the uh, risk-free rate uh, plus the beta of a stock and that is multiplied by this uh, market risk premium which is this uh, calculation in the brackets. Now that is just the expected annual return on the market minus the risk-free rate and that is used just to compensate us for the extra risk of investing in the stock market. So firstly, to find the risk-free rate, typically we would use the 10-year uh, government bond yield. So a quick Google search tells us that the Australian bond 10-year yield is currently at 2.63%. So we can punch that in there. Um, I've used uh, Bloomberg here to source the data, and that's the number we're after. Uh, next, we need to find the beta of a stock. Now, Yahoo Finance is a particular favourite of mine, but there's many, many other options. All you need to do is uh, search the ticker code, so if you want Woolies, it's uh, W-O-W, that's what I've already loaded here. And if you come down to the summary, we've got the beta here, which is 0.91. Now, a beta of less than 1 means that the stock has less systematic risk than the overall market, and the opposite is true if the uh, beta is uh, more than 1. So that's a key measure of risk as well. Now this final factor, this uh, market return, uh, we just want to use the average market return. Uh, I'm going to use 10% because that is the historical average for the ASX 200 and it's very similar for the S&P 500. But if you'd like to do a bit more research, uh, marketindex.com.au has, um, has a lot of, uh, lot of good references for you and a lot of good statistics. And uh, simple as that, we've got our result. So the CAPM for Woolworths at the moment is 9.34%. Uh, and as I said earlier, this can be used in a discount rate for uh, valuing the company or used in the uh, weighted average cost of capital as this is the uh, cost of equity. Uh, if you'd like to learn a bit more about the CAPM, I highly recommend Investopedia, but this tutorial is just a bit more about uh, the interactive template, which makes it easier for you to calculate in the future. Well, that brings us to the end of this tutorial, so uh, please like and subscribe as I'll be bringing a lot more uh, Excel tutorials out for uh, finance and investing, and uh, thank you all for watching. See you later.